What is up guys, today I will show you how to use the Windows 11 on your MacBook Air M1 in 2024. So basically I already installed it, the installation is pretty simple. I will not go to deep details, you just download it, purchase the license of Parallels, that's the name of the app, Parallels Desktop, that allows you to use Windows 11, play games, etc. And then I will show you what's the next step, how to use it, whether it's worth to install right now in 2024. Okay, so here I have my uh, Apple MacBook Air M1. I have the best and top configuration here. So I've got a GPU cores. I have uh, 16 gigabytes of uh, memory, LPDDR4. And although I've got uh, 5 uh, gigabytes of internal built-in memory, of course you can install the parallel even with a lower uh, version of the MacBook, 8, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of memory, but uh, truly speaking, for trying it, it's good, but for really usage for daily, I don't think you can play any games with this one or use some some software that requires a lot of resources because first of all it will occupy the 20, 30 or 50 gigabytes of your memory if you have 256 gigabytes it's quite a lot like 25% of your total memory will be occupied by this app uh, although the memory, uh, the RAM also will be occupied as well so for my configuration, it's a really good option to have it uh, all time base, but in case you need some light Windows apps, you can also install it even on regular version of MacBook. All right, let's turn it on, Parallels Desktop, starting it, so Windows 11 starting, just click on this one, and you see just regular loading screen, and it takes really fast to load, as you see, maybe, I don't know, less than 10 seconds to load the Windows 10 but let me go back for now and show you the settings so here you have the parallels on the top you have control center here where you can control your app uh, the parallels app and have some configuration of Windows 11 so let's check it out one by one so here you have the total size it's occupied 35 gigabytes quite a lot let's say but for my configuration 512 gigabytes it's okay uh, options okay for general actually you just name configuration 4 so you can change it but you need to disable it let me shut it down actually it also takes several seconds shut down so as you see I can adjust the settings only if the machine is off all right so machine is off then Reclaim here, real time, it's enabled, reclaim your free space as you work. Okay, doesn't need any space. So here you have some options. So full screen 3D gaming here, design, KD software and graphic edition program, software testing, software development and productivity. So basically for me, for just basic features, you can select by yourself or in case <clears throat> your more advanced user you can select by yourself many settings here so start up and shut down manually you can also have the option always ready in the background and custom option available as well so you can set it up up to your preference how you want to shut them down or stop uh, pause windows after 30 seconds so it's also in a hibernation mode to save your power and keep your apps open Optimization here, so you can optimize the resources usage uh, if your Mac is lack of the resource and you don't want your Windows and virtual machine using a lot of them, so you can set to low, I have no limit as I have the maximum version of MacBook Air. For pros, it will be no issues at all. Sharing, so it's just uh, folder sharing, you will have all your Mac and Windows user folders here. Also, you can have to share cloud folders and Mac volumes as well. Same from Windows side. Application, so doc icon, you will have here application from Windows uh, appears in your Mac and when you click it, you will directly go to this application of Windows. Um, quite convenient, also you can share Mac application with Windows as well. Allow apps to auto switch to full screen. 
basically I didn't touch those settings at all. Full screen, same here, you saw this place on full screen, I just keep it by default. Picture and picture, so just keep it on top of other windows, show windows on all the spaces, basically also here. And when you move with your three fingers left and right, you will see this weapon email. I don't use this plugin, maintenance, travel mode. Actually, travel mode, you can less network and computing resources to, the, to save battery power. So you can always use this uh, travel mode and your power consumption will be lower or use it only when you reach some battery level and quit when connected to power or never. It's up to your preferences as well. Also, some things, time option available as well. Hardware. So for hardware, you have pretty good uh, setting up here. So automatic recommended. Uh, it will be used for CPUs, for 6 GB of RAM and up to three gigabytes for graphic. You can use a manual one. Actually, you can other, you can allow, I guess, uh, up eight, you can, you can use even eight cores, but they don't allow it to you. you. Actually, it's allowed to you, but they just underline that it's risky. So six core is the maximum that is recommended. So basically keep it out of here in memory up to you can even use, I guess, all the 16 here, but again, you will, I guess, see too much memory to degradate. So 12 is the maximum recommended. Uh, I use, I'm using six gigabytes. If you're going to play the game, so of course it's better to use at least maybe eight. It's enough for many games. And for cores, maybe six core to keep some cores for uh, Mac OS adaptive hypervision zone. So I just set it to automatic. Graphics, so high resolution, high DPI graphic, uh, most apps look sharp, it's just regular one. Also you can use a scaled to full size for legacy apps and for external display available options as well. Mouse keyboard, so basically it's just detecting in case you connect it, sharing printers, network, so you can actually have several options or disconnected shared networks that I'm using. You will see it as an Ethernet connected, not as separate Wi-Fi, but you can also select Wi-Fi option and have separate connection. Uh, sound and camera, so it's by default, speakers and microphone as well. USB and Bluetooth, hard disk, so disk capacity that can be used also can be adjusted here. I don't change those options as well and boot order okay here is nothing special to cover security also didn't touch it so you can turn on password as well and other settings but i just keep it like this backup as well in case you need it you can use smart guard so you spend some additional memory uh, of you okay so for settings itself is pretty much it uh, let us go back to windows again it's loading Luckily, it takes uh, seconds that I really like about parallels here. And even in my configuration, in case I add extra cores and extra RAM memory, it can be even faster, all this operation of Windows. All right, so it's loaded, working fast, just started already opening. So basically, let's start. Okay, as you see here, if you scroll down, you have the Mac apps and with three fingers, you can move and you can see here the Windows and Parallel apps separately. So very simple to switch, MacBook, macOS, Windows, macOS, Windows, and it's pretty fast operating, same here. Just switch, launch something, really nice. Uh, the storage here, so as you see, it's shareable from your Mac. When you open Home, you can have your data, your videos and everything from your Mac. Uh, that is available here. So if you click this computer, you have this uh, actually iCloud and home disk, local disk here for Windows separately. That is maximum up to 255 gigabytes available. So here you have your uh, apps from Windows and here you can use your Mac uh, storage, uh, watch the videos, etc., from your Mac files. All right, so let's go to the settings itself. So here, as you see, no wireless adapter here, no Bluetooth, 
no brightness you are using your brightness from your macbook volume volume is adjusting also by macbook buttons but it has regulator here separately as well which is convenient what you have is battery safe mode as by default it's using some mode created by parallels some airplane mode even not available night light projection wire display nearby sharing is available no other options for here let's open the settings that's how it looks like you have your home screen and let's go one by one system so you have a display option as as you see display resolution available it's not it's using a recommended one not the maximum one but the maximum is like this also you can select like let's say full hd yeah for this type of screen and keep your productivity and battery even better performance scalable it's actually you can turn it off but it's automatically selected this way graphic here what it will show okay no additional settings for the sound here is a speaker not also much you need to activate to have more options uh, i use windows like this not activated you see volume here so microphone is working everything's working here as well uh, notification focus mode will not cover nothing to see here the power and battery also you can have the battery saver mode you can see the battery usage graphs and disable or enable automatic power off for the screen or go device to sleep uh, storage as i mentioned available 255 gigabytes can be used for windows but you can also enlarge it in the settings nearby device multitasking for developers activations is we can all actually skip only about device that is interesting to us so as you see here processor apple silicon for cores or for processors how they write it here 3.2 gigahertz 64-bit operating system uh, uh, ARM based processor but it supports all the uh, files that you only can install for windows any exe file can be easily installed here ram 6 gigabytes pen support okay windows home is installed here with all the needed updates also advanced system settings let's check what's showing here device manager all right so actually everything works driver is installed no issue everything is weird at all almost controllers everything should be working fine for display adapter they show like this network parallels sound okay they have some drivers actually here for system devices also nothing special monitor regular one disk driver is also virtual ssd camera it's using facetime hd camera driver installed as well so no issue with drivers here by default it is nice also you can optimize some performance here in case you're using some a low configuration laptop bluetooth and device so device you can connect of course but bluetooth is not available because you just use macbook bluetooth which is working well and no need to connect directly to your windows networking internet as you see it's showing as ethernet connection but you can separately activate wi-fi option and connect it separately to wi-fi a personalization so i will not cover here nothing special available as well apps account uh, by default gaming option accessibility privacy and windows update also working so I installed all the latest updates everything smooth as you see here you can download any file you can open safari here uh, not safari yeah. uh, edge browser so the everything's loading let's open youtube just open some random page on youtube start videos okay i don't know trending let's just open something here or no copyright mu background music 
open relax music try the sound so sound is adjusted even like this you can also adjust it as well so everything working quite well you can check the 4k resolution open full size screen working pretty much nice depends also on the internet connection of course okay let me disable the sound but in general moving quite fast even in a 4k video with my configuration which is not maximum and maximum can be uh, configuration can be set it up later in the settings also you can install any app available for instance chrome app let's just i will show you that you can easily install it from download for windows 11. let's open it up download chrome windows 11 64 bit download it okay download chrome manually all right so download it open the file yes just regular installation and everything's supposed to work well let's check it out so some seconds is taken to install it actually not even install but download it and download complete waiting for install so it's just regular file regular i will even show it to you with downloads here chrome file let's open you see regular windows exe file application uh, for not for ARM processor but for any processor and you can install it. I have even steam here installed I will not launch it right now but you can also use for gaming as well to install some games that are not supported but MacBook but supported uh, by don't sign in but supported by the regular Windows laptop so you have two in one right now you have Windows plus MacBook which is working well so you see Chrome is working also okay got it also to remove it same logic you can easily uninstall it at removal program so you open the settings go Chrome here uninstall so same as on win on regular Windows can be easily uninstall it and remove it all right so basically that's pretty much it for now what i wanted to show you it's really amazing how fast it's working even you don't need anything to switch uh, between windows and macbook you can also organize all the resources on your windows and actually i really recommend to use parallels the price of parallels actually i don't know for now let's check it out what is the pricing level parallels desktop uh, you can buy it for 100 bucks just per year to have the regular subscription or better to use one time purchase then for 130 bucks and you have it forever for all the time it's just individual for students maybe some discounts available okay 50 per year for students also some special offer for military government non-profit organization for business separate one but regular license 130 bucks without any limits you have 30 days money back it's not actually advertisement from my side i just showing that i really enjoy and i really enjoy that you have the windows on your mac in case you need it for some apps that are not supported on mac for gaming and for some other things that you can do on windows but you cannot do it on your mac all right so basically that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching put the thumbs up and see you next time